This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Hi, this is John Guandolo with your Understanding the Threat Moment brought to you by the Glazov Gang. Thanks for being with us. Today's question is simple. Is Islam compatible with the West, but specifically with the United States of America, our founding principles, our law, and therefore our constitution? Well, first we have to answer the question, what is Islam? And so for that answer, we just go to Islamic sources, which define Islam as a complete way of life social, cultural, military, political, and religious, all governed by Allah's divine law, Sharia. And what does Sharia demand? All published authoritative Sharia demands Muslims wage war against the non-Muslim population until Allah's divine law, Sharia, is the law of the land. Well, now we have our first conflict because men and women who swear an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States immediately come into conflict with Islam, whose stated purpose is to eradicate all un-Islamic governments until Islam is dominant on the earth. Problem number one. At the core level, Islam is hostile to liberty, and the law in the United States. So let's begin there. What else does Sharia say? Well, Sharia mandates death sentences for adultery, for those who leave Islam, for homosexuals. It identifies those who commit certain crimes for various barbaric punishments, like those who are unmarried who fornicate 100 lashes publicly. What else? Those who steal the amputation of the hand and the detailed amputation of other limbs if the perpetrator is caught other times. This is barbaric and it's inhumane. And it's contrary not only to US law, to our founding principles that the God of the Judeo-Christian God is a just but loving father. That concept doesn't exist in Islam. So what Muslims are required to do is obey Sharia. That is the call for all Muslims. And again, Sharia is barbaric. So let's look at freedom of religion, which we have in the United States. For those of you not aware, there is no such thing in the United States as separation of church and state. Those of you who have that flawed understanding of that concept, I encourage you to get uh, go to Understanding the Threat store on our website, understandingthethreat.com, and get our episode five DVD, which discusses America's founding principles. But freedom of religion is key in America, and it's a sticking point for those people trying to explain the dangers of Islam to other people, because many people view Islam as a, merely as a religion. However, in the most widely used junior high textbook in US Islamic schools, it says, and I quote on page two, Islam is not a religion, however, but a complete way of life. That book also says that one of the three duties of Muslims is jihad, to war against non-Muslims, that those that die in jihad immediately go to paradise, and that, quote, the duty of Muslim citizens is to be loyal to the Islamic State. Well, during this week of the 4th of July, 2019, those principles as laid out in core Islamic doctrine is contrary to our founding principles, contrary to our constitution, contrary to US federal code, federal law, and contrary to liberty and civil life. It is contrary to human nature, and it is contrary to the very bedrock 
upon which America's law and government rests. Our first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, John Jay, as well as many other of the Founding Fathers, as well as, by the way, a finding in 1854 by the U.S. Congress, the Judiciary Committee to be specific, said that only Christians can hold public office, and the reason for that is clear. Because how can you support and defend the law of nature and nature's God, legally defined as the will of God, the Judeo-Christian God, and Holy Scripture, how can, as an executive, you adjudicate those laws or as a legislator legislate those laws or as a judge judge specific instances if you don't believe in the very founding of our nation? There is no place for Islam in civilized society. But there is a place for all human beings who come to America willing to assimilate into the culture obey our laws. We welcome you with open arms. God bless you. Happy Independence Day, and God bless the United States of America.